Hey folks and welcome to another Friday fishing forecast and it just seems like these Friday fishing forecasts just boom, come right along especially when I don't have a lot of time I'm way behind on videos I'm actually about um, I think four videos back the video that just came out last night was actually a video that was filmed back on August 26th so it's been a little bit since I've been able to get to the videos and get them out there and I apologize about that I'm trying to rectify it and get it done quicker, but when you're as busy as we are, it gets a little difficult sometimes. When I, even when I come in at four o'clock in the morning, I still can't get stuff done. But anyway, it looks like we're gonna have a wishy-washy weekend. It looks like Saturday's 80% chance of rain, Sunday's 70%, somewhere around there, chance of rain. The winds are gonna be lower on Saturday, and then they're gonna increase on Sunday to 10 to 15 out of the southwest. They'll be five to 10 out of the northeast. On Saturday, we have uh, pretty good tides this weekend. We're coming off the new moon. I know the inshore bite for grouper and snapper has been up and down. One day, it's really, really good. The next day, it's not so good. So I, I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. We did struggle offshore um, last weekend with those slow tides. We struggled quite a bit. We had to do we did our best on the major and minor so if you don't follow those i highly recommend following the major and minors especially if you have a slow tide especially offshore inshore those slower tides i like those slow tides but when you're offshore it's it's not very good um, so let's go ahead and get into the friday fishing forecast talk about the tides and salooners for this weekend and what we have in store on Saturday, we have a low tide at a 0.7 foot at 8.33 a.m. Then we have a high tide at 2.3 foot at 2.52 p.m. Then we have a low tide at 8.54 p.m. at a 1.0 foot. On Sunday, we have a low tide at 9.14 a.m. at a 0.6 foot. Then we have a high tide at 3.34 p.m. at a 2.2 foot. Then we have a low tide at 9.11 p.m. at a 1.1 foot. As far as, as the salooners go, we have a minor feeding time from 8.02 a.m. to 9.02 a.m. Then we have a major feeding time from 1.33 p.m. to 3.33 p.m. Then on Sunday, we have a minor feeding time from 8.55 a.m. to 9.55 a.m. Then we have a major from 2.14 p.m. to 4.14 p.m. Now again, as I discussed, we, uh, the, the weather is going to be a little wishy-washy, so you want to watch out for those storms. We have a, a front that's coming in that's stalling, and it's not going to go all the way through, unfortunately, because it's still extremely hot. I was coming to work at, I think it was 5 o'clock this morning. It was 87 degrees, <laughs> so I was like, oh, God, not another one. But uh, I also want to talk about a couple of different things. We have, uh, we're not going to be bringing in Talon cast nets in the, in the near future. We keep getting emails and questions about that. And unfortunately, uh, it takes a lot of money, especially up front, to be able to bring these cast nets in. And then once I, once I order them, I have to pay a certain amount. And then once they get ready to ship, I have to pay them in full. So then you're looking at two to three months that you're with no product and you're out a lot of money. I can take that money and put it to other resources like adding another person to work here, buying more lead and other things, buying more hooks. So we're not going to be carrying the Talon cast nets. I know everybody's kind of disappointed about that, but we are going to be joining forces with a new cast net company called Dropout Cast Nets. I've been throwing one for a few weeks now and absolutely love it. It reminds me a lot of the talon cast net it throws extremely well we're going to have sizes from eight and a quarter to ten or to twelve and a quarter but mainly we're going to carry about ten and a quarter and we'll have some eight and a quarters we are i think he's going to be bringing in three eighths eventually in the near future but they're uh, ten and a quarter eight and a quarter they're all 1.4 pounds per foot which i think is a good poundage uh, it's caught bait extremely well and so I'm really excited. His pricing is really good. It's, it's very comparable to our pricing. So you're not going to get bent over the coals when it comes to cast nets. Uh, and it's a good quality cast net. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be uh, promoting it. I wouldn't be selling it. So I, I told the gentleman, Nate, his name is Nate. I said, look, let me throw it first. Make sure that it fits what we do. And sure enough, it did. So I'm fortunate enough to be going from Talon to drop out. 
And like I said, I would love to carry Talon cast nets. It just is better suited for me to take my, my resources and put them to other things. So I hope everybody has an understanding. We will have some of those nets here at the office in the next few days. We will be offering them online with free shipping. So keep that in mind, but they are great cast nets when you feel them. They're very, very soft like the Talon cast nets were. They open easy, they open flat. And so I'm extremely happy and excited to uh, join forces with Nate and drop out cast nets. Now we do have a seminar coming up on an event at St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. It's gonna be myself, it's gonna be Vance Tice, and Dylan Hubbard. We're all doing seminars. Vance Tice is very, very, very well known for his group patrolling inside the bay. Uh, of course, Dylan Hubbard, Hubbard Hubbard's Marina, uh, Hubbard's Trips. They've been doing it for a very, very long time, family-owned business. I'll be talking about a grouper inside the bay, grouper outside the bay, talking about our electronics, relief shading. Some of you may have seen the stuff that we've done. Some of you may have not. So if you get a chance on September 30th, 9 to 6 p.m., we're, we're having the event at St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. They just became a retailer of ours, so we're excited about that. If you get a chance to come out there and see us, please do. Again, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all of the orders. We're still trying to catch up, even with four guys working in there right now. We're still trying to catch up. I can't say thank you enough. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>